The overall goal of the study is to track the uh, contamination of E. coli 015787 h 7 during processing of leafy greens. Hmm, leafy greens. They're cutting up iceberg lettuce on a processing line to see where contaminated lettuce can get caught. And what we did was we used radicio, which is a red-colored lettuce-like product, inoculated that with E. coli. The term inoculated basically means that we artificially contaminated our product. And then processed that product through a shredder, the uh, conveyor, the flume tank, the shaker table, and a centrifugal dryer. This way we could visually see the uh, product that was contaminated with E. coli. We're hoping to demonstrate how far contaminated product can actually spread during processing. And this will give the uh, processors a good idea as to how much product is at risk if they do have a uh, contamination event. A small amount of contaminated product, they enter the facility that's processed, and of course industry doesn't know at what point the contaminated product entered their facility. You can't visually look at the product and see that it's contaminated with E. coli. If that was the case, it wouldn't be an issue. But they process continuously, so that's what we tried to mimic here. MSU is the only university that has a processing line like this, and Dr. Reiser needs all the help he can get. We had a team of at least uh, 10 or 12 students uh, involved in this project over a period of about uh, 15 to 18 hours, so it was a long day. It was a tedious process, an incredibly tedious process. I was in charge of organizing all the, the volunteers that were going to help us with it, and then I also was the person who contaminated or inoculated the radicchio lettuce. So we followed the 20 pounds of radicchio with 2,000 pounds of iceberg lettuce and then proceeded to track the rodicio through the entire system, through the shredder, the conveyor belt, the uh, flume tank, the shaker table, the dryer. And then at the end, we ended up with about 40 rather 50 pound bags of shredded iceberg lettuce that also contained small shreds of radicchio. So that's what we had to sort through. After they bag and sort the lettuce, they weigh the bags to try to predict how much contaminated lettuce is left on the equipment. The majority of the radicchio is obviously first in that, found in that first batch of, um, of product that we collected. 93% um, of the radicchio that we had processed ended up in that first basket of the, of the remaining um, radicchio that had been spread out on the equipment. And um, there was a small amount that was left over on the shredder and on the conveyor belt. That's where all those really tiny little pieces of radicchio, um, which would be the, the main cause of concern for the industry if you have just one of those tiny little pieces with a million bacteria per gram on there you've got a serious problem. We basically saw that that the shredder and the conveyor belt were definitely locations where proper sanitation needs to um, needs to take place. Sanitation is something to look into because although most of the red lettuce was found in the first bag they found contaminated lettuce in every bag. The long-term goal would be to to make suggestions um, to the leafy green industry what kind of modifications they could be making to their processing procedures, um, where they need to sanitize more, how many, um, how many times throughout the process they need to shut down their processing line and sanitize the entire, the entire processing line. Those kinds of adjustments um, that can be made, we will hopefully be able to determine from this work. Um, and then make those suggestions to the industry so that they can prevent future uh, widespread outbreaks.